what is up everybody we are back with some more hogwarts legacy last time we made it to hogwarts we got sword ends of gryffindor here's our little uh i guess dorm room type ordeal all righty we gotta go find our common room okay we just walk up to it. i was thinking something was going to be interacting with it uh, looks like we gotta go upstairs. Now, which way is the common room? All right, run like kids do. Go back downstairs again. Well, bless you, dude. I don't I used to like watching the movies and watching the paintings. This level lock. Level one lock, something. Okay. And uh, just watching the paintings move and stuff. Uh, not all of them's moving, but some of them. Okay. Start over here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Sure. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. <laughs> yeah, like he I learned a little bit more from us. Giving you some advice on nonverbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh yes, having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll we'll try to be nice it. right now. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Uh huh. Is it really that difficult to cast non verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. <laughs> Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> well, alrighty. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I shall. I shall. Let's see here. Who's next? I hope a professor oh, catches her this time. If I can do anything for a thrill. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. All right. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? 
most of us are I mean, out there just need to boat. know Not what I gotta live up to. The jaws to. of a dragon? Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. Hmm. I like I'm her. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Yeah, I like her. A little daredevil. Oh, getting some mischief together Gareth yeah I was it go on sure you don't want to try it brewed it myself hello you're the new fifth year pleased to meet you I'm Gareth Weasley heard about your travels here can't believe it glad you and figure all right is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figg's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Mm -hmm. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt I figured they would be. Treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close Matilda. an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be Isn't honest. Not forever. Still, she means well, and she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm. Oh no, I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. <laughs> A bit Seems more. you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference fundamentally between brewing a modification to butter beer and a Wiganweld potion. Though I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my uh, creativity as much as you might think. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Okay, I don't know who's talking, but all right. Outside the common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. And one now, second day, and one third day, and one fourth. Joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. I'm sure you have. Here you are. Spellbook? Oh, there goes all those pages. I'm not cleaning that up. That, that was your fault. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It oh, will field help you guide. to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but 
an item, stick it under your arm, it disappears until you need it. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right. Let's go. This way. I'm coming. I've been sick. Leave me alone. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. All right. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I'm right behind you. Where I was. You go down these steps a lot faster the than I do. The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Okay. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio. Barufio. Yeah, that's what she said. Famed for his brain elixir and as an example of what happens when incarnations are improperly spoken. He once said s instead of f and found himself on the floor with the buffalo on his chest <laughs> sucks for him you just unlocked the field god challenge your progress towards completing challenges appear here okay uh field god challenges are only are the only way to acquire experience points or xp Okay, this is your wizarding level XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Uh, your field guide tracks your current challenges progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Collecting your first guide page unlocks a new challenge category. New cat uh, challenges are unlocked. You unlock throughout your adventures will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Uh, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier. If you each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Alrighty. Clever, Where to next? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Rebellion. Let's just see if there's anything else. Ooh, that's blue over there. What's that? There's a kitty cat. Hi. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. I'm petting the cat. Leave me alone. I'm coming. I'm gonna go over here to this chest. It won't let me run. Why can't I run in the school? Because there's a teacher close by or something. Well, I get in trouble. I know I was always taught not to run inside, but you know, it happens at times. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Blue flames. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Ooh. Map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the great hall. Like the south wing region flag to continue guess that one yep okay in this view you can see the flu flame available in that region green flu flames represent flames you have discovered including 
your own house common room. Gray flue flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. All right, at least they let you know where they all are. That's good. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. All right. See the library annex region. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use the right stick to rotate the map and fast travel to central hall flu flames with X. Okay. That was it. This one. Oh. Okay. okay. Let's do it. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Mm. Yeah. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. If you Always say so. something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. As far as I can see, the only potion was learning. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. I'm sorry, I didn't lose them. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Okay. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay, well, I don't want to defend against the dark arts. I, I guess I do some, but I want to learn some dark art, some dark magic. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think what about you will curses? enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. We'll have some fun. to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. I'm sorry. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Wait, he doesn't want me to tell anybody about it, so... I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speaking and there he is. Devil, Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. A little bit. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. 
So I've got homework, is what you're telling me. You're making me do more work because I finish, or because I'm late or something, I guess. Yeah. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? You asked me to. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details I get to with the play hooky and skip class. It would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. So you can track available quests from the map. Okay, the little yellow thing represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you can, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. All right. Track quests with a, what is this? Defense against the dark arts. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Alrighty. Uh, quest complete. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Uh, uh, cast Charmed Compass. Charmed Compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Huh. Okay. That's cool. There we go. Oh, is it going to stay up here? That would disappear after a little while. I'd have to keep on pushing it. Huh. Okay. I'll say I could have followed it on the little map thing. To run up the steps. Yeah, there ain't no teachers here. Oh, there's an eyeball there. Ooh. Fucking skeleton. I like that. <laughs> Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. 
a levitation charm. Levitation. Hell yeah. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned we'll as ourselves. is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay, steady your wand. Yeah, I know this. Oh, I forgot to hit two of them. My bad. I forget I gotta hit the button. Oh, well. At least we learned it. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This yes, time, I did. Cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt okay. so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. How do I... Okay. Now, well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start Ooh. with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> let's do it. I like his hair better than I like mine. Also, basic cost. Looks like it kind of flips up a little bit in the front. You may begin. I like to wear mine. This should be easy. Let me <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky. Oh. I know. Protego. Stupid Protego. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. How you doing it? Let's just say I'm a hey. I, I think he went out of bounds. He should be disqualified. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> okay. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank hey, you, Professor yeah. Eckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it. And they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Well, alrighty. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. That was a short class. I wish we could make ourselves levitate, you know? That would make us, you know, prepared in the heat of battle, I would think. And also, I just like levitating. I always thought that would be cool to do. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Hmm, nope. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. <laughs> huh. A little Fair cocky, enough. huh? You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization hmm exclusive and unsanctioned count me in excellent knew I was right about you if you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts 
You're going to need to break the rules now and then. Oh, I plan on joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. They got the Thank you, Sebastian. Big boy magazine in, <laughs> in the library or something. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay. Till next time. We thought that might be something. What is this? I got an achievement, first class student. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Okay. You say so. I've always said One of those things. travel broadens the mind. We can run. Oh, hey. Like a two horned rhino. Or what they're called. To say? Revelio. Are there any papers around here? Nope. Alright. What is this? <laughs> I used to love doing that with globes. Alright. Uh. I like how they just add some of this like random shit. That look kind of cool. Let me see this. Hell yeah. My mother was shocked the first time I sent her an owl to school. But yeah, I like I like how uh, when games include just like random things you can just kind of interact with for no reason. Just so you can fidget, I guess. That looks kind of cool. Rebellion. Oh, I heard a little piggy. I like maybe this one. I don't know. Cool looking picture. Uh, looks like I need to go up here. I don't know that little thing is let me know to go this way or what? I thought there's a uh, green flame or something somewhere in here. Rebellion. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. Go to our other class. I don't even remember what it was. What was it? Like charms, potions, stuff like that. I think. Ooh. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, we started talking to us. I was like, "What the fuck?" Who's talking? Ghosts. It was an accident. <laughs> Rebellion. Okay, okay. Thing in here. Keep hearing that little ooh. There we go. This is the right bathroom. If not, I'm sorry. The hell? This ain't no bathroom. The hell is this? There's a the toilet. The fuck is this? Why is this in here? Uh huh. Okay. Interact with any of that? Anything else hidden in these? We can flush the toilet. Did we interact with that? No? Okay. Huh. I don't know what that was. Whatever. I seen something else somewhere. Uh, we, we need to get back to our class or get to our class. We was already late to our sorting ceremony. 
Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Looks kind of cool. We sometimes have to remind Rebellion. him. Rebellion, Mr. Lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Yet I drop one nettle too many and I get the stare of the basilisk. This looks like a boring class. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> I have Shall now. we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. <laughs> My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Nope. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay, so it's just like a little arch. Good one up. Akio. There we go. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, like, right, it's an exceptionally You're lovely done. day. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Ill trip. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> the Quidditch has been cancelled. <laughs> oh, a different sport. Yeah. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? You know you're getting old when you start simply, just making random Akio noises. On the, one of the eh, spheres eh, eh, and relinquish eh. your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Now, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them to... That's it! Oh. Oh. I let go of it before it did that. Maybe about time it gets to green. Oh! Okay. I don't know how much momentum it has. Very good. Uh, yeah, we're almost there. I got one to stay on there. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. Well, really? there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Okay. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes. Okay. 
What rules? What's that? Okay. That is how it's done. Okay. I'm gonna stay there. Is it? No. Okay. Can I knock hers off? The one of those type of games? Where you knock your opponent's thing off? Mmm. Almost. That's open. Ah, oh, you bitch. Alright. Let's see if we can tire at least. There we go. Stop, stop. Stop, you fucker. Don't lose your composure. I got close. Can I do this again? Rematch. That's two out of three. Come on Let now. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> oh, whoa. We are well past what? interesting at this point. Okay. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. There we go. Akio. Oh hell yeah! I'm beating you. That's it. Let's see if she'll knock mine off. See what it does. Ah, uh, all right. That is how it's done. I want to see. It's one of those like you can knock theirs away, and make them lose points, stop four deals. Oh, and I went too far, too fast, my bad. I'm sorry. Hey, right, don't be squatting down. Are you laughing at me? Is it that funny? What? Ah, uh, we can't win. If we get a perfect score, unless we knock one of hers off or something. And it does work that way. I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Akio. Oh, too far. My bad. Golly. Almost had it. Yeah. That time we sucked. All right. I'll try better next time, I guess. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Mm -hmm. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. That sounds cool. 
This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Hmm. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> so we got wandless magic. We got verballess or nonverbal magic. It's right. nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Alrighty. Folks, you can use Akio and humans. A word, if you if would. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. You know I trust problem. your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Alrighty. Arm class is complete. There. Play thing over here? It's on a different floor. Little butterflies in here. I guess that's in a different floor or something, because I'm not seeing the Rebellion. thing in here. Huh. Okay. There's somebody. Glasses Professor over, Ronan dude. Reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Uh huh. Don't you? Alrighty. I want to check out all the stuff in their little book. Kind of seeing what all it's got unlocked and stuff. Looked at the map, and the map looks pretty big. I don't know relativeness to scale or whatever, but it looks pretty big. And what I've heard, <laughs> it's a pretty big map. So I'm looking forward to exploring all of it. We're going to go talk to Professor Weasley again. First, we got to spin at least one of these. Oh, go downstairs. Yeah, I was about to say, there's a green flame thingy. Another kitty. Okay, green thing right here. Now? Don't worry about it. I'm just running around. Don't mind me. Is there any more around here? Revelio. There's anything? I don't know what that little charm thing is. It sounds like I don't know. It sounds like it's like real close. Like it might be something important, or it just might be. What's this? Interact with it? No? Huh. Okay. So we'll figure that out at some point. But it might just be like the sound that the wand makes when you cast that. I don't know. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. 
Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? I don't know what you're talking Nothing about. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, mm -hmm. you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Mm -hmm. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Okay. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I haven't really spent any time with either of them except in class, but... Yeah, she seemed cool. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Alrighty. I would really like to go with, let's see, speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu in your field guide. All right. Yeah, I would like to go with that one chick that was uh, seen in our common room. Chick that wasn't scared of heights and stuff. She seemed adventurous. That's, ah, I didn't get are. that option. I don't remember what her name was. That looks pretty cool. Alright, I'll talk to you. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. 
A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What are these thingies? Wyvern Fountain. Uh, this fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a Wyvern on top of and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan. Cadogan? This is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Okay. Let's go do this. Collect flying this pages. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying pages. See right there. How about the flying pages? What do I need for that? Did you do that? Do I have the paper enough and it falls or? Rebellion. Huh. I don't think this is right. I don't know. Oh, I can jump. I forgot. <laughs> My bad. Alright, fly back over here. Ah! Oh. Can I jump on top of this? I'm on top of it, something. Where is it at? Oh! I was almost there. I don't know. Oh, so just jump and catch it. Can I not jump over that? Bastards. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Tell me. Oh, come on now. There we go. Where's this paper? There it is. Ah, it won't let me move. Am I supposed to get it? I don't know. Come here. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. My bad. My bad. I was about to say, there's got to be a trick here. Alright. Now we know. Alrighty. So let's go to the second one. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I was about to say, I seen some flying papers earlier. I saw a green thing over here. That's not a green thing. Huh. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Nope. Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection? collection, that is. Oh, okay. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. <laughs> gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Right. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Mm. 
rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's uh, go and select our main quest again. There it is. Bam. That was easy. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Okay. Oh, shit. They changed the button on me. I thought it was always all A and they threw an X in there. I was like, oh wait. <laughs> My bad. And the mending charm Reparo can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environments. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It okay. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> huh. Yep. I'd better keep an eye on That's high good places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, that's an actual owl. I was about to say, is that decorative? Because that's very white. Alrighty, that's where we're going to stop this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out, Ely. Everybody love everybody.